maths. That's maths. There's maths going on there too. Maths helps us to live our lives every day, to figure out how things work, to build and create and understand. And if you figure out its secrets, it's anything but boring. Welcome to the world of fashion. It's colourful and glamorous. But along with the silk and sequins, there are calculators, measuring tape and a whole bunch of equations, as Christina knows well. Your job doesn't really seem like the most obvious to use maths for, but do you have any examples of where you do use it? For sure, yeah, I use maths in everyday life, so um, I guess the process for, this is fashion design, but I do um, couture, which is made to measure formal wear and things like that. To specifically fit that client, I need to take their measurements and from that adapt my patterns to fit them. So there's a lot of maths involved um, to making sure that it's going to fit them perfectly because that's the service that they're paying for at the end of the day. This is the brand new Samri building in Adelaide. Thomas is one of the architects that worked on it. You can see from this diagram through here how we set the building out, in particular, it's all based on mathematics and geometry. If someone wanted your job, would you suggest sticking with maths through school? Absolutely. I see mathematics as a second language. There's very much mathematics embedded in everything we do. Wow, this is cool. This is a uh, Boeing F-18 Hornet. Paul spends his life working in some pretty impressive works of engineering. This plane has a top speed of Mark 1.8, or 1.8 times the speed of sound. He's a test pilot for the Army's Aircraft Research and Development Unit. So this part of the wing is a flap. They allow the aircraft to land at a slower speed and use less runway. It's a job that takes a fair bit of nerve, a thirst for adventure and maths. Pilots use maths quite a bit. Uh, we prim primarily use it uh, mentally, doing mental math calculations, and we do that all the time while we're flying. So there are a couple of things that we're really concerned about. One is fuel, so that we actually have enough fuel to get back, because as you can imagine, unlike a car, you can't just pull off on the side of the road. The other one is to actually navigate. So while the plane flies, it flies relative to air. However, the wind blows us around, so we have a couple of little tricks to work out what our speed is over the ground and what our track is over the ground. You see, it's like I said, maths is all around us. Hi, I'm Maya. Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Rising Sun. This is cool. These guys make computer-generated animations for movies. You might have heard of some of them. Harry Potter, The Hunger Games, X-Men. So what type of maths do you use in your job? Well, we use a lot of different types of maths. We use, um, we use a lot of physics, so how uh, objects solid objects hit each other and how they bounce off each other and particularly how they're destroyed, how they break up. But then also uh, fluid dynamics, which is how gases and liquids move, um, things like smoke, things like explosions, and those obviously have to interact with particles and water and how things splash. It's pretty clear that some of the coolest jobs around depend on math. So why are so many kids turning away from it when they reach high school and uni? Maths has a reputation for being hard. I think they think it's, you know, it is a hard subject and it, it can really be a hard subject, but um, I think a lot of kids as well don't see that it can be used in everyday life. Um, and especially after school, they think I'm never gonna use this again. But in fact, maths comes into play with every job. Maths isn't easy, but hard doesn't mean boring. Just like any language, learning maths takes time and hard work and practice, but it's worth it. Yeah. 